Yeah, yeah, this is your boy T Nancy, and I got another dope video for y'all. Baby cops, they don't know their line. Lawsuit by Lackluster. They ain't know they line, bro. Let's go and get to this reaction and see what it's all about. Anytime you're not Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Leave us some comments. That yeah, goes to the, the Fifth Amendment. Are you familiar with the Fifth Amendment? Yeah. You seem like a, like a constitutionalist to me. Uh, oh, yeah? A little bit, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm a lot of constitutionalist. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. In the <laughs> summer of 2022, Mario and Gracie were driving to an auto parts store in Alexandria, Louisiana. Dashcam video starts well before Mario's bright red Mustang appears, but shortly after, nice. officers Jim Lewis and Samuel Terrell of the Alexandria Police Department pull up behind their vehicle. The light turns green and Mario makes his left hand turn, and before he clears the intersection, the officers initiate a traffic stop. Officer Lewis calls in the tags as his partner orders Mario out of the vehicle. Once extracted, the deputy obtains Mario's documents while Officer Lewis approaches the passenger. Mario was asked to show his insurance and began pulling it up on his cell phone. This is important later. Mario then inquired about the reason they were stopped, and initially, Officer Terrell declined to answer. And now while huh? Officer Lewis speaks with Gracie, he notices something in the back seat and orders her to place her hands on the dashboard. Hey, you got a gun in the car? Okay. Where's it at? Level seven out one. In the back seat? Okay. What is it? It's a horse. Huh? It's a horse. Okay. Do you have any on you? No, no. You might here, go take what? Set your phone down right here, put your hands on the bumper just real quick. Real quick. I didn't bother the hell out of you people. Out of your uh, vehicle? Uh, no, I don't want anybody searching my vehicle. Okay, cool. The officers have no reason to believe that Mario was dangerous or that he had any weapons on his person, but Officer Terrell pats him down anyway, exceeding his limitations to search and seizures, while simultaneously extending the length of the traffic stop, which once again, Mario and Gracie still have no idea why they've been pulled over. And now Officer Lewis orders Gracie out of the vehicle as well. You can leave everything right there just step out for me okay you don't have any guns on you do you i got you just sit in that stage just like come here oh man this is crazy right there for me. okay hey 32104 and 32352 uh for the uh, PC. PC stands for probable cause, and Officer Lewis has just referred to two Louisiana revised statutes. 32104 and 32352. One regarding the modification of a vehicle's exhaust system, though the vehicle was in proper working order and was not making loud noise. The other statute was for an improper turn signal, but that can clearly be seen in both dash cam video and CCTV from a nearby <laughs> business. And now, after looking into the vehicle a second time, Officer Lewis reads Mario his Miranda rights. Hey, listen, I don't know if my partner's done this or not, but I'm gonna do it, okay? Uh, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you to call well. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to represent you for any question if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer your question, make a mistake. Do you understand your rights? Yeah. The traffic stops are legal detainment. The reason I did that is I got a couple questions that may or may not pertain to your guilt or innocence, right? So I always advise before I ask those types of questions. That yeah, goes to the, the Fifth Amendment, right? So anytime you're not comfortable with one of my questions, you can say pass. Are you familiar with the Fifth Amendment? Okay, how long have you been in the state of Louisiana? Because I'm not, I'm originally from Roswell, but I'm trying to. Roswell? Where the. Yeah. Yeah, nice. But, so I've been trying to get residents here. Here I work, uh, I work here at Atlas Home Service, and I've been trying to buy a home, but. You ever been arrested for anything? Never? Yeah, I'm arresting these people, man. You for me on the hood of my car? No. Okay. Yeah. That's a question. Good for him though. Nothing else. You mind if I check? Good for him. Like even though I'm sure this dude know they're dead ass wrong for this, right? Because they are, right? Because if you got him for the turn signal and his exhaust, it doesn't take all of this, bro. They just write him his ticket or whatever. But you just seen that he just making up stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's obvious, completely obvious, right? So big up to him for not losing his cool and just doing whatever the cops said because they, they're obviously bullying these people 
for whatever reason. Maybe because the dude, he's brown. Maybe he's a brown guy with a white girl. Maybe because his car is nice. Whatever, bro. You know, they harassing these people, bro. Sure. Okay. I, I just paid it down. I Despite allowing Mario to use his cell phone to pull up his insurance, Officer Lewis now objects to its use to record the encounter, a clear violation of the First Amendment. Do you mind if I check? Uh, Do you have something you're not supposed to have? I don't have anything on me. Uh, okay. I mean, I feel a lot safer if uh, she had her phone, she was able to record while you check me. Yeah, I record. Yeah, I mean, that's what happened to the last incident. The last officer in the event she lost that. Oh, you had an incident where an officer lost his body camera footage? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's why I'm having a lawsuit on that officer. Oh, wow. I promise you I won't lose mine. So, here's my question. All right. To, to face me, I always like to talk to you face on. Do, do you have anything? In, can, can you step her right over there for a second? That would mean you can have a conversation. But you know. Uh, All right, see, you know what pisses me off about this, right? It's, it's, it pisses me off. Because these are regular people, right? Just cruising probably on a Sunday. Just taking a stroll, bro. Probably did some shopping. Just hanging out, right? Hanging out with each other. Probably came from a lunch or something. Off a little, nice little lunch date or something like that. Just minding their business. And you have to go through this crap. When you're just chilling, bro. With no probable cause. This, bro, this is crazy to me. The dude seems stand up. He seems like he's, you know, not causing any trouble, bro. And even if it was a traffic stop, you putting these people through the ringer, bro. Or probably on a day off. And they gotta deal with this crap. It's crazy to me, bro. It's crazy to me that some cops think they have that much authority, bro. They have laws in place for a reason. So the law enforcement can't step over it, but they tend to do it every time, bro. This is crazy. They know they can't do this. And the fact that they do it, dog, it blows me. It blows my mind, bro. It blows my mind that and I, hope they, I hope we get everything he could out of this lawsuit. And I ain't selling it for nothing. Is that fair? He's fishing, bro, and it's not. That's against the law, bro. I got you. marijuana in the vehicle. Officer Lewis extends the stop even longer, questioning Mario individually about several different narcotics, without any objective reason to believe that no Mario reason. or Gracie had or were committing crimes related to narcotics. Despite the now many violations of the couple's constitutional rights, Officer Lewis tells Mario that he himself is a constitutionalist. Sway right here for a second. You know, a traffic stop is illegal detainment, right? You are detained on a traffic stop. Yeah, yeah, just like, you seem like a, like a constitutionalist to me. Are you? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm a lot a constitutionalist. I'm a lot. In fact, Officer Terrell did take possession of Mario's phone, but he allows Mario to look around for it anyway. Did you put it back in your pocket, my dear? No, it's, it's not in my pocket. It's, it's, all right, well, here, we'll call it. He might have it on him. Uh, not you say he doesn't have it. Really like yeah, no joke. Well, we're not getting out of here till you have control. So, I do have control. I, so, I know exactly where it's at. It's in that passenger seat right there. For the rest of your paperwork. Mario asks once what? again why he was stopped. So, can you be honest with me? Why am I being stopped? Is it a failure signal? And it's straight, pure, straight, honest answer. He failed the signal, so we stopped you. Um, and we're we're just talking to people about when we stopped you. Okay? That's all it is. Okay. The officers ask the two the same questions over and over, and eventually, Officer Lewis begins peering into Mario's vehicle again, and Officer Terrell finally returns Mario's phone. Kinda. Hey, get your phone. Don't touch it yet. I can't. It's being recorded. Look, there's a camera right here. There's a camera right here. There's a camera right there. Okay. So just, this is my blowing me, bro. Legally detained, so we're not doing anything extra. She's not a part of this investigation. You just told me I, I got her failure to turn That's me, right? She's not a part of this, right? She, she, no, she is a part of it. Why she's is she a part this, of it? She is on this traffic stop. All right? mm -hmm. She's a passenger in this vehicle. No, you are not free to leave. You're part of this as well. Okay. 
So even though and the reason, can I finish? The reason she is out of the vehicle, right, and standing here is because there is a firearm in that vehicle, according to you. Yeah, right? no, I'm not saying she's not. Right, Sorry. and that's why you're still here? Yeah. Is that why I'm not able to get my phone? No, no phone right now. Well, still, because this is a traffic stop, okay. you are detained, and we don't do phone calls on traffic stops. That's why. Does that answer your question? <laughs> the officers return to their cruiser to run the couple's names, which turns up nothing. This displeases Officer Lewis. Here comes the third two. Oh, what are the two? Now 21 minutes into being stopped without legal justification, Mario is cited for failure to use a turn signal and because he has been trying to establish his residency in Louisiana but still had New Mexico plates. He received two other citations for failing to register his vehicle, but the ticket that was provided was written with a weak wrist. The citation was too faint to read except for the court date which was written directly onto the carbon copy, showing that the officers were aware that they were issuing an essentially blank copy to their victims. After finding a business with a recording showing that Mario used his blinker. The state dismissed the citations entirely, and in November of 2022, Mario and Gracie filed a lawsuit against the him. officers, the chief of police, and the city of Alexandria after enlisting the help of the Institute for Justice. The lawsuit brings Fourth and First Amendment claims for the actions seen in this video, which shows that either the officers were mistaken about the turn signal or that they lied, hoping that the shiny red Mustang would provide a payday for them. You will have to decide for yourself whether the officers were acting in bro and that's what is that what bothers me about that bro like how creepy and vindictive can you be just to pull over a rental car because you know shiny red mustangs normally they have like stuff in them like drugs or whatever like you assume that these people are doing something that they're not doing you know what i'm saying being like like stop them, detain them over a traffic stop, have both of them get out of the car. It's just like just violate all kind of rights, bro. Just so you hope you can get a, a, a drug bus or something like that. Like nothing to do, bro. Like nothing better to do but pull these people over and ruin their whole day. And I hope they take everything from them, bro. I, I hope I hope this I hope this city pays. For this crap, bro, because it doesn't make no sense. They need to hold these cops accountable, bro. You just can't go around and do this just for the sport of it. They're making a sport out of this, pulling people and see if they can uh get some out of them. Like, because you know, normal people don't have the time to, to, to go for lawsuits or probably don't have the, the money or the uh, resources to go for a lawsuit. But this stuff happens all the time, bro. All the time. And it's crazy to me, bro. This is it's. It was mind boggling, bro. So I hope they get everything they could from it. And I hope uh, a, a cop pulled me out of my car and do me like this, bro. So I can get me some of this money, too. <laughs> but this is crazy, man. Shout out to the, to the driver. He stayed composed. He didn't yell. He asked, he did everything they asked him to. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy that these dudes just, like, oh, got upset that they came back clean. That's, that's, bro, that doesn't make no sense to me, bro. In good faith or wait for the jury trial which is scheduled for february of 2024 so let me know what you think and be sure to check out Damn, why so late? against qualified immunity and the institute for justice links down below thanks for watching if you have a video use the submit link shout out that's another another dope video uh january 2024 oh they making them wait <laughs> But that's the end of the video, y'all, man. I'm I'm actually mad about this one. I, I I I get mad about a lot of them, but like this one right here actually got me boiling, bro. That they harass these people and violate their rights like that. But this your boy T Nasty, man. How's your boy? And I'm out.